Hi. You ready for another story? This one is called Such a Little Mouse, and it's written by Alice Shirtle and illustrated by Stephanie Yu. This is a book about the seasons. Let's see how Little Mouse does. Such a Little Mouse. Way out in the wide world, there's a meadow. In the middle of the meadow, under a clump of dandelions, there's a hole. <clears throat> and way down deep in the hole lives a mouse, such a little mouse, with his smart gray coat, with his ears pink as petals, with three twitchety whiskers on each side of his nose. Every morning in spring, one, two, three, he pops out of his hole. Such a little mouse. Off he goes into the wide world. He sees a snail climbing up a fern. He watches the busy bees on the clover blossoms. Buzz, busy, busy, biz, says the bees. He hears a woodpecker, rat-a-tat-tat, hammering in a tree. The little mouse looks at himself in a puddle. Hello, self. When the day is done, he brings a little round seed home in his mouth. He packs it away in his storeroom, way down deep in his hole. I wonder why he's doing that. Why wouldn't he just eat it? Hmm. Every morning in summer, one, two, three, he pops out of his hole. Such a little mouse, off he goes into the wide world. He watches the beavers working in the pond. He visits a toad who lives under a flower pot. It's dark in here, says the little mouse. That's the way I like it, says the toad. He sees a prickly porcupine. When the day is done, he brings a sprig of watercress home in his mouth. He packs it away in his storeroom, way down deep in his hole. Hmm, his storeroom is getting pretty full, but I still wonder why he's packing it away. Why doesn't he just eat it? Hmm. <clears throat> Every morning in autumn, one, two, three, he pops out of his hole. Such a little mouse, off he goes into the wide world. He tunnels under piles of leaves. Rustle, rustle, rustle go the leaves. He feels the autumn wind tickle his whispers, whiskers. Winter is coming, whispers the wind. He watches the geese flying overhead. Honk, honk, they cry. Winter is coming. He sees a line of tiny ants marching along. The little mouse puts his petal pink ear close to the ground. Winter is coming, say the tiny ant voices. When the day is done, he carries an acorn home in his mouth. He packs it away in his storeroom, way down deep in his hole. He has a lot of food now. 
It looks like he's been collecting it for a while. One morning, when the little mouse pops out of his hole, it is winter. The grass and the flowers and the weeds are gone. Snow covers the meadow and the trees. Burr, says the little mouse. Back he goes down into his warm hole. He makes a loaf of acorn bread. He makes seed and watercress soup. He snuggles up under a little moss blanket with a book of mouse tales. Such a little mouse, all snuggled and warm, deep down in his hole until spring. Did you figure out why he was keeping all that food in his deep, in his storeroom deep down in his hole? <laughs>